Okay, so <laughs> what up, best friends? Welcome back to my channel. No, it's about to go down. We have another Amazon review for you guys. And again, I purchased it with my own coins. Cannot think of the store name. I will put it on the screen right now. And I purchased a 613 24 inch lace front wig from Amazon with an extra bundle because the reviews were iffy. And I was looking at the pictures and the wig kind of seemed thin. And like you can't control the thickness really when it comes to Amazon. So I already bought, popped the box up because I wanted to see what it was because if it didn't look okay, I was gonna send it back and we wasn't gonna do a tutorial for this. So here's the wig that I got off of Amazon. I spent about 250 on this, all right? So this is a little bit more pricey than my normal you know, tutorial, but this is 613 hair. So you also gotta keep in mind about that. So 613 hair is always gonna be a little bit more expensive. I do have a bundle, cause I'm gonna add it in with my sewing machine. On the bag, it does tell you 24 inch body wave. Get out the pack, this is what she's working with. Now, you don't get the ultimate, the ultimate parting space like you would with a full frontal. I, I usually call these partial frontals because it's kind of like a closure with some sides. You really don't, you can really can't do much with it. So, um, I'm not getting any tangles. I am getting some shedded hair, as you can see. It doesn't smell like anything. Front of the hair line is pre-plugged slightly. This is a stock wig. You do have four combs and adjustable straps, okay? I did try this on already, so it is big head friendly, all right? Definitely big head friendly, and especially if you got a little bit more hair underneath. And I don't, I'm not too sure what color I'm gonna use, but I am gonna do a water color method on this wig. Okay, so this is my little hair closet. <laughs> it's junky right now. So this is the color that I already have. So, um, I think I wanna do aquamarine. Boom, aquamarine, cause I have two of those. Mix a little bit of lime green in there to give it a little pop. Let's do aquamarine and some lime light or green apple. Is green apple full? Yeah, they're both full. All right, aqua, aquamarine and lime light. Those are the colors of today's tutorial. All right, you guys, so we're in the kitchen and I do have my bucket. Somebody asked me where did I get my bucket. It's just a regular bucket. You can go to Target, you can go to Walmart, you can order, it's just a bucket. Like, get a bucket from the 99 cent store. It's a bucket, okay? I'm gonna let my bucket fill up halfway and then I'm gonna add my color into it. Now, I don't have my stand up here, so um, I'm gonna just show you as I go with the process, okay, you guys? Right, you guys, so I put the color in all three bottles, uh, two aquamarines and one limelight, and I'm just gonna mix it all together. And I don't know if I said, but I did use hot tap water. And so at this point, I'm gonna drop my wig and the bundles in here so that they can soak. Okay, so both the bundle and the um, wig is soaking. It is really green, oh my goodness. Okay, I kind of want a bluish hue. So I'm gonna let this soak and then I'm gonna go get the bottle of blue um, hair color. And then I'm gonna rinse this wig off and then add the blue to the bottle, to the bucket and let it sit in some blue. Just so it can have a bluish hue because I really don't want green hair. Like it looks nice on camera but it's really green. So I'm filling the bucket back up and I'm going to use half a bottle of, is it gonna focus? Sapphire, okay? And so that's the hair right there. It's a very much green. So I'm gonna put some sapphire in there. Okay. And then where it is, and I'm gonna mix it all together. And I'm gonna just pop my wig in there. So this is the color that we're at right now. Is now on camera is looking a little bit more blue than green, but it still has that green undertone. Okay. 
So after I conditioned it, styled it, and everything like that, this is what the wig turned out to look like. I gave it some loose curls with the wand, and it just came out bomb. Like me dipping it in that blue really set it off because it has a blue hue, but it's still green, and it's bomb. Oh my goodness, look at it. Okay, y'all, so I'm, I look like a milk dub, but I'm about to put on some eyelashes, and I thought this would be a perfect time to come on here and talk to you guys about them, because I got a lot of questions on one of my Amazon review videos, <laughs> like this one, and um, you guys were asking me about where I got my eyelashes, um, what style was I wearing, and this and that and the other, so I'm here to tell you this while I'm doing my makeup, because I'm about to finalize this video right here for that wig that way <laughs> I wear two pairs of lashes very dramatic very drag queenish and I don't care and I in this these two pairs of lashes right here before I even do it up close excuse my nails because I dyed that wig and so my nails are horrid okay um and I'm doing my makeup so my fingers and nails are horrid so this is like a full wispy okay and I use this as my bottom lash and then I go in with this fuller uh, fluffy lash and then I'll stack these two lashes together and it'll make that big thick fluffy lash that you guys usually see me wear sometimes I'll wear this lash by itself and sometimes I'll wear this lash by itself today I'm only gonna wear the wispy the full wispy lash by itself today oh and then the length of these are 25 millimeters so these are very long dramatic eyelashes and you know it does not work for everybody okay so now we're just gonna do this glueless install and I think I was on live and I was telling them about the even active because I really love it oh my goodness so I am gonna go ahead and spray some even um, in one section of my head I'm gonna start it off in the middle I'm gonna spray it spread it out and then I'm gonna lay my lace down and blow dry it down on cool Another question I get asked by you guys is if I sell my used wigs and the answer is yes. You could go on that same website to the wig section and there are, and it's called used wigs and it just tell you exactly what the wigs were used for and how long I had them on or whatever. And usually I don't usually have my wigs on for that long, but you can purchase them. I usually make an announcement saying that I, I, I upload a used wigs on my website that you guys could go purchase. If you want to purchase new wigs that are customized, ready to wear, you can also do that on my website as well. So the website is imayani.com. It, it will be down in the description box for you guys, okay? So let's get back to this wig install. So at this point, I am going to cut off the lace after I have um, my lace laid down with the um, even hair spray because, like I said, we're doing a glueless method today. So I'm going to just cut it off, cut all the ex excessive lace off okay and once the excessive lace is cut off i'm gonna come down and um take the clips out and lay my baby hairs and i'm going to use the even yellow can to lay my baby hairs down because i actually like the even yellow can versus the red can the red can is a little bit more sticky the yellow can isn't as more sticky so it's not a lot of build up so it, it lays the baby hairs down really good and to blend that white transparent lace i'm going to use my foundation skin color what kind of like my contour color and i'm going to put that on the lace and just blend everything in so after the lace is cut and the baby hairs are laid i'm going to pin my hair up with a clip and i'm going to take my even spray and spray my hairline just to make sure that the edges of my lace is all the way down because i do not want any lifting and once I do that all over my hairline, as you see, I'm being careful because I have on makeup and I didn't want to get the hairspray on my makeup, but um, I'm gonna spray the hairline and then I'm gonna take an elastic band and wrap my hairline down until it dries. Now the question is, would I recommend this hair? I think this hair is okay, um, especially for the price. I feel like there might be a better 613 hair vendor as far as the wig itself because the hair is really nice. It colored really good. I didn't get a lot of shedding or anything like that, but I just feel like it is thin on the ends, okay? So that's my review on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in this hair, I will leave it down below in the description box for you. Don't forget to follow me on social media, especially Instagram, and I will be back with another one. Bye, best friends.